hello welcome back today in this uh, video let us discuss about what is the dark data what is the concept of dark data basically the dark data is uh, similar to what uh, we have discussed uh, if you take an analogy so what they call in physics that called as a dark matter so it's a uh, very unexplored territory of uh, the uh, of the matter in in terms of physics similarly dark data is something which is uh, uh, which which uh, goes untapped when you're working with it and uh, so because of a huge volume of data uh, that we are working today and uh, the possibility of generating the dark data is also exponentially growing and uh, there are its own challenges there are its own uh, benefits if you use dark data and uh, most often uh, we forget to use forget to use or we neglect the dark data so it has some advantages it has some limitations it has some challenges and uh, we uh, we can also think of uh, uh, how can you uh, explore some of the unexplored territory of the dark data to kind of uh, get uh, some some benefits out of it and uh, different concepts we will discuss in this video and uh, so before uh, proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started So what you can expect uh, in this particular video so in this particular video you can expe uh, expect uh, we will be teaching what is dark data uh, we will bring up few examples uh, so that you can understand it much better and also how exactly the history and the growth actually of the conceptually the dark data came into picture and some of the facts and figures of the stats of uh, how, how the dark dark data is kind of uh, important so which will uh, uh, we will check that and uh, like uh, this facts and figures will support what we are discussing here and also we will discuss about the pros and cons of da dark data and what are the key challenges uh, that come across uh, when we are working with dark, dark data and also uh, when there are the challenges you need to have some solutions so that solutions we will discuss using some technology to handle the dark data and also finally we will summarize the concepts so so this this is what you can expect from this uh, particular video uh, in next couple of minutes uh, and uh, please concentrate so that uh, you can uh, come please feel free to comment in the comment section if you have any queries so we'll quickly jump on understanding what is dark data by definition right so the conceptually the dark data means it is the a set of information or the data that uh, any organization or the company collects uh, from different uh, data generating systems and uh, then they uh, then they actually st uh, store that in, in a particular uh, database data lake or whatever uh, storage systems but the problem here is uh, by the time goes or uh, on the during the during the exploration of the data analysis a uh, uh, few percentage of the data goes un hidden or unused or kind of unexplored and this actually contributing to a significant untapped resources because uh, so the, the more the data the possibility of uh, the residual data or the possibility of the data getting uh, uh, generated uh, uh, by the different sources also increases so as the volume grows uh, exponentially right uh, the percentage of dark data also goes on uh, increasing because uh, you, you take uh, any organization say for example you have a uh, different um, systems like uh, invoicing system erp system uh, you have a retail platform you are you have a hr uh, kind of a database uh, you have management information systems so, so these all uh, databases uh, or these are all transaction systems and you have a streaming uh, source of uh, data where uh, the data is gen generating every second uh, so and you have the data coming from the different system logs server logs and all kind of this data which is unstructured in format so what happens is uh, you actually collect those uh, data in in a particular uh, storage systems and also few often times uh, we get this data from different systems and also keep it in a centralized location so what might happen is uh, say for example you have uh, system a system b system c and uh, these systems are generating a lot of data here right and uh, also uh, the few percentage of data which uh, it is which is generated can be used for some kind of a uh, business reporting business analytics and uh, like a kind of a getting a meaningful insights and also kind of a 
doing some predictive analysis or uh, analytics on top of this but certain percentage of the data right so that will that will be of no use basically but you think uh, or or might you, uh, you you might think that is of no use but actually it might be used sometimes and uh, sometimes it might not be used also but the problem here is uh, the data is consuming the volume and uh, so it is also consuming the cost uh, of the storage so this system one system two systems uh, see what we are talking here uh, uh, is actually parallelly generating the data and also storing the data and you might say there are few retention policies organization might, might have but uh, even though they have a retention policy still uh, the few organizations store the data for uh, say five years ten years because of some compliance issues so what happens is they have to store the data which might be used or might not be used and that uh, that will significantly increase the uh, the, the uh, possibility of generating the dark data so hope you understood what is what what exactly the dark data means right so it's often unused or unexplored right and untapped resource that means um, th there might be some use of it and there might not be actually but the end of the day what we're talking here is uh, so the collection of this residual data or unused data we are calling as a dark data and uh, the challenges grows when you are uh, talking about data centralization you are talking about uh, so you bring the data in from multiple systems system 1 system 2 system 3 uh, to a centralized location right so here uh, say for example this is of 2 petabytes right and here uh, the data is 10 petabytes right and here data might be 35 petabytes so the problem here is uh, when uh, any organization which is currently performing data analytics and uh, aspiring to perform any kind of analytics right so they will get uh, potentially uh, this this much of uh, data they will get it here that means 45 47 petabytes of data they are getting into a centralized location but uh, they are not uh, they might be using only the percentage of the data that may be uh, two or three petabytes only they might be using here for any kind of analytics and reporting purposes but rest 40 45 uh, petabytes of data is actually just staying in this uh, data lake or uh, data warehouse which is kind of unused right uh, because no, uh, if there is uh, uh, no use actually uh, and uh, the, the organization don't want to invest on this kind of data so they will it will just stay in this uh, location maybe for five years ten years and you are just paying uh, the cost and the storage for that uh, particular uh, dark data so hope you understand the concept understood the concept of dark data here at a high level dark data so we'll understand few concepts of it what so that you can understand the concept of dark data in much better way right so dark data is actually uh, if you see as we already saw it is un unused or untapped data what we were discussing right and uh, so we will explore other aspects of it like how exactly it is getting generated what exactly the uh, unused or untapped data means so this category includes uh, the data actually uh, that organization collects but haven't yet analyzed or processed it might be sitting in databases storage systems or log files without being used uh, to derive any any kind of insights or uh, any kinds of predictive analytics and uh, the reason for uh, data remaining un unanalyzed could be range of uh, range range from uh, time constraint lack of appropriate analytical tools or simply might be uh, simply oversight that they are not interested or they might be uh, left without understanding the data much better right and uh, coming to the legacy data so legacy data refers to uh, information that uh, was collected in past but is uh, not actively used in current business uh, it is often uh, retained for compliance reasons uh, historical references or also part of a archival process or some kind of audit related uh, uh, kind of a compliance or uh, other reasons so legacy data is, uh, is is it means it's old data basically and uh, managing legacy data can be challenging due to uh, changing data formats uh, over the time technology become obsolete to maintain those uh, uh, data and store the data and also the potential uh, for uh, increase the storage cost also goes on increases because the 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 growth on the volume of the legacy data is exponential and it keeps on growing and the next is redundant and absolute data so this type of uh, dark data consists of uh, 
information that is no longer uh, relevant to, to ongoing business activities uh, it means uh, it is actually not used or it is not uh, needed for any kind of a business purpose or any analytical uh, purpose it may include outdated product catalogs uh, customer records or absolute project uh, data uh, organization might find it uh, beneficial uh, to periodically clean up the redundant data or absolute data to optimize storage uh, resources and improve the data quality of the existing data so uh, to derive the insights and coming to the unstructured data so the unstructured data is uh, as the advent of uh, big data technology and the streaming systems and all those things right so the unstructured uh, data um, the growth has uh, potentially increased and uh, uh, unstructured data lacks a predefined data model so there is no structure for the data and is often found in terms of uh, text documents images audios and videos and it is really challenging to analyze uh, uh, this kind of data using traditional methods because it is not a uh, stored in a particular columnar format or you cannot query the data so the analyzing the data become challenging and uh, there is a possibility of uh, data becoming dark so the huge possibility is here if you talk about structured data where is the tabular format you can query the data you can understand the data automatically with some kind of uh, tools and technologies very easily but unstructured data is something which is uh, really uh, kind of uh, uh, difficult to understand so the possibility of generating a dark data is very huge and you need to have uh, advanced uh, analytical tools uh, nlp uh, kind of processing and machine learning techniques uh, to employ or to extract valuable insight of the uh, to get out of the out of the unstructured data and the last thing is unmonitored data streams so this involved data generated from uh, various sources such as iot devices sensors or uh, applications that is not actively monitored or analyzed in real time the problem here is a failure to monitor these data stream can lead to missed opportunities that means uh, if you miss this right so there will be a lot of performance issues or even security vulnerabilities and uh, which might compromise the um, the entire system establishing a proper monitoring system is crucial for organization to make the information uh, more secure and also uh, the timely decision based on this the data so addressing dark data involves implementing implementing uh, uh, data management uh, processes uh, adopting advanced analytical tools and establishing data governance uh, framework uh, to ensure that the value valuable information is identified processed and uh, utilized effectively within the organization so we will see how to do that in the couple of uh, minutes in the next slides so when it comes to the history and evolution of dark data it actually started uh, started pre-computing era so where we talk about early stage uh, data storage so where uh, uh, the computers were invented right and uh, data was preliminary stored in a physical uh, form such as a papers records ledgers or documents the challenge of organizing accessing and analyzing wa vast amount of data existed even in those early stages so dark data is nothing but we are talking about a digital dark data no so we, dark data can happen uh, without any digital uh, format of data right so data can be stored in a, a kind of a ledgers documents also even in that case uh, the, if the data is piled up in the files or documents in the physical files and documents even that can be considered as a dark data so even way before the advent of computers this problem existed right so that's what we mean here and uh, advent of computer came and then the database systems came came uh, in that uh, like where we are talking about talking about digitizing the data and store it in electronic databases so this actually uh, marked the beginning of a structured data storage where information was organized into tables and the records um, for a more efficient uh, kind of a data management and uh, after that uh, where we saw the spike in the digital data so during 90s and 2000s uh, where the widespread of adoption of internet came into picture advances in computing power came and uh, the data digitization of uh, various uh, industries led to an explosion of data generation so this era is uh, basically saw an increase in volume velocity and the variety of data lying the groundwork for the accumulation of dark data so this is a where the groundwork of uh, uh, accumulating the data dark data started right and uh, 
so the next comes 2010s and 20s where we started talking about the term big data gained prominence in 2010s highlighting the challenges and the opportunities uh, associated associated with handling massive volume of data organizations uh, started investing in big data analytics uh, to derive insights from the structured and also unstructured data including uh, dark data so next comes uh, recognition of a dark data here is when the officially people started recognizing the dark data because uh, so it started um, popping up right as organization become more aware of potential value uh, hidden in unanalyzed un un or under uh, utilized data so then they started uh, coining this term as a dark data and uh, that exactly officially become or actually officially recognized uh, so this is a dark data uh, in during that time right and uh, emphasis on uh, data governance and compliance came into picture uh, during the same time if we observe right 2010 20s uh, so all this happen is happening do, uh, do, during 2010s and 20s itself so this is why this data governance came into picture right so the concept of data governance if you are aware uh, so the there is a growing concern over data privacy security and there are a lot of regular compl regulatory compliance each organizations and each country has and uh, prompted organization to uh, reassess their data management practices because the data is crucial if you cannot compromise on the data security so this includes addressing dark data to ensure responsible and ethical use of the data and uh, one more technology uh, or one more one more concept where we are talking about advancement in analytics and ai ml so this, this also came in uh, more or less uh, during the same period so here we are talking about uh, analytical tools machine learning algorithms artificial intelligence and uh, all other these kind of concepts where organizations uh, with the capability to analyze and derive the insights uh, from the diverse and unstructured data sources including dark data so finally what is the current situation or where exactly we are is uh, where we are discussing about uh, data driven decisions making continuous to, uh, con continuous to grow organizations are increasingly uh, recognizing the need uh, basically uh, to address dark data as a strategic asset basically they are started considering or thinking that is it as a dark data as an asset and also thinking to invest in uh, technologies and process processes to unlock the potential of the dark data so this is a history of uh, dark data uh, and uh, with a broad evolution of uh, data management analytics and technologies uh, as organization organizations continue to grapple with uh, challenges and opportunities uh, presented by over expanding volume of data the concept of dark data will likely remain a focal point in the discussion on effective data utilization and management over the time so now let us uh, move to the next uh, concept that is uh, data dark data figures and facts so here uh, uh, as you can see 80 percent of uh, enterprise data in uh, is dark data according to the gartner report uh, that means you can understand uh, what is the percentage what is the impact so what is the storage what is the uh, cost that your sp each organization are uh, spending on the dark data so this shows uh, um, what is the potential uh, that you can think about the dark data in future so uh, this is the impact uh, uh, the dark data can do on your volume on your scale on your cost uh, on any on any enterprise because the volume of the data is continuously growing right and also idc predicted that uh, by 2025 nearly 90 zettabytes of uh, data would be generated globally which with much of it being the dark data that means almost you can think about when you say 90 percent of again you can calculate 80 percent almost 80 percent of the data might be dark data is what they say and according to the new york tom new york uh, times 90 uh, percent of the energy used by data centers is wasted because of da dark data right so this is very key when you're talking about green energy right so so uh, you are wasting a lot of energy basically global energy that uh, you are using for the data centers for storage processing or uh, maintaining those data centers uh, so uh, it is very crucial either you kind of understand this data and uh, make utilize of this data because you are already spending a uh, lot of energy uh, to st uh, for the capacity of that uh, data centers and the processing and storage capacity of these data centers so 
this is also a key uh, fact and figure so with this uh, key facts and figures let's move to the next part of it where you can understand here conceptually like a 12 to 15 percent data that is critical to business actually here is where we are building our uh, reporting where we are building the storing the data in data warehouse uh, uh, you, uh, using some tools we are building some etl kind of processing where you process the data store it in a reporting layer and uh, you you expose this to business users as a reports right and uh, you make use of some analytical platforms like uh, like you perform some uh, predictive analytics here and also produce some reports again to the business or some kind of uh, um, um, other users where it can be uh, used for some uh, better decision makings but however if you go like little deep in water that means deep inside uh, so where we are talking 23 to 25 percent of data is redundant or absolute ba basically it is not being used uh, for any kind of purpose and still if you go deeper uh, 60 to 65 percent data where uh, the data is completely dark uh, that means it is hidden from uh, hidden within the network machines and the people so which is really difficult to tap you need to go inside because why, why we are telling we need to go inside here is because it might be a, a file which is stored it might be a unstructured data which might be stored or it might be data which is sitting there from a couple of years right and it's very difficult to explore that data that kind of data because you don't know what to do with that data and uh, you often go um, confused uh, that uh, you don't understand so you often neglect that kind of data so with that uh, we'll go to the next slide or uh, next part of the video where we understand the challenges of the dark data so as uh, uh, we are discussing there are a couple of challenges when we are uh, discussing about dark data right so first if you discuss about a data security governance privacy and compliance so, so this is one of the greatest challenge uh, so in the current world or current time uh, that uh, uh, most of the organizations are facing because dark data may contain sensitive information and analyzing and storing it without proper security measures can lead to data breaches and uh, it is a biggest security threat to any organization ensuring data security and compliance uh, with organization uh, or uh, privacy regulations uh, is very critical for any uh, business organization to protect uh, the data of uh, its organization and also the data of the customers and also there are a lot of uh, data governance uh, and the regulatory compliance comes into picture uh, where uh, depending on depending on the industry different industry that you are working maybe retail healthcare uh, telecom so what not right so based on the uh, industries and the geographical location and the countries uh, so there are uh, different regulatory compliances come into picture uh, uh, where you have to follow uh, the regulatory compliance uh, for handling certain type of data and organizations must navigate all these uh, uh, regulatory um, uh, kind of uh, uh, regulatory kind of uh, rules or uh, generate all kind of regulatory reports and audits to avoid any kind of legal issues that might come so uh, further uh, which might uh, uh, cause a reputational damage for uh, any organization and the next challenge uh, key challenge is the data quality issue so dark data may uh, usually uh, it suffers uh, from data quality issues uh, because uh, there might be data such as uh, inaccuracies uh, data inaccuracies inconsistencies and outdated uh, data because uh, because of these reason analyzing uh, poor data quality can result in unreliable insights and incorrect, incorrect business de uh, decisions because the percentage and the volume is huge and uh, it can it is sufficient uh, to kind of uh, mislead any uh, business decision making so how do you handle how do you tackle the data quality issues uh, of dark data is one of the key challenge right and uh, coming to the lack of awareness and the cultural resistance so many organizations uh, may unaware uh, may be unaware of uh, the existence uh, quality or uh, potential value of their dark data lack of awareness can uh, lead to missed opportunities and uh, organizations may not invest in strategic strategically looking into it and uh, uh, maybe investing in uh, investing in it uh, uh, to unlock the value uh, hidden in this data so this is also one of the key challenge in the current uh, world because uh, what actually business concentrate usually on is uh, if uh, their reports or if the what they are getting from the 
regular kind of reports or regular kind of analytics might be sufficient for them is what they think so they don't want to kind of uh, invest uh, in this kind of uh, um, technology where it can uh, uh, tap the uh, insights of the dark data and get value out of it so that's also one of the key uh, challenges uh, and it is often uh, very difficult to convince uh, some of the uh, organizations or the investors to kind of invest in uh, uh, something called as the dark data right and uh, so next is integration challenges so uh, integration means that uh, data dark data may be stored in various formats various locations various systems uh, which is spread across uh, different geographical locations uh, in the organizations and integrating and consolidating this data for analysis uh, can be challenging and especially when uh, dealing with a diverse data source or diverse data formats so you need advanced uh, tools advanced uh, resources uh, which uh, who are uh, skilled enough to do that kind of integrations so that's our another key challenge of it and the technological limitations uh, uh, most of the dark data may be unstructured uh, uh, in formats such as uh, audio video images uh, or uh, like uh, text for text documents and uh, making it challenging to analyze uh, using traditional analytical tools so that's the reason you need to adopt uh, advanced analytics and machine learning techniques uh, that might be uh, needed to extract uh, any meaningful insights of it and uh, there is a technical limitations uh, uh, to do that right and the next is uh, cost and uh, return of return of investments uh, right uh, concern so it's again uh, investing in the infrastructure and the tools need to be analyzed analyzed dark data can be expensive because the volume is there and also you need a uh, advanced skill technology to do that so that's the reason uh, so often organization may be concerned right uh, about the return uh, roi that is return of return on investment uh, and uh, the long term sustainability of such initiatives so they are the more hesitant organizations and the investors are more hesitant to kind of uh, looking into looking in the long run so is it really uh, really worth to invest uh, in such kind of uh, um uh, technologies uh, which uh, can explore the dark data is uh, again uh, challenges for the business they look look into right and uh, more more often it's a cultural resistance right because uh, the, if you take about lack of awareness if you take about uh, cost uh, cost and return of return on investments so all these things are more of a cultural resistance uh, there might be a resistance or hesitance uh, within the organization uh, Uh, culture to adopt these new technologies the data driven decision makings so overcoming uh, cultural barriers is essential for successful dark data utilization but uh, yeah it's again a crucial challenge uh, a practical challenge that we can think of right and uh, when you're talking about all these challenges right addressing these challenge requires a comprehensive strategy uh, st- strategy from the business uh, and also who are uh, uh, making the who are thinking about the organizations from the long long term perspective that includes uh, you need to think about uh, leaders should be th- leader should be thinking from the technological standpoint and what is the organization commitment what is their priority and uh, also they need to focus on data governance and security uh, also uh, organization need to weigh the potential benefits against uh, associate challenges to make them uh, make them informed uh, decisions approach uh, in handling this kind of dark data so so organization need not invest uh, uh, like uh, compulsory on the dark data uh, der- deriving the dark data insights because uh, it again depends on their priorities their co- return on investment calculations uh, and what kind of data they store right so if there is um, no percentage of data is not uh, huge uh, when you are considering dark data so they might uh, step back uh, so in uh, investing in this kind of ch- uh, this kind of uh, tools or technology which derives the insight from dark data so it completely depends on um, the organizations but uh, the main important thing is uh, the data security governance and compliance so this is a must uh, any organization should think about because uh, so when you take about any enterprise right so all enterprise uh, uh, should actually uh, kind of a kind of a restrict themselves or a kind of uh, um comply uh, on these compliance policies and the privacy securities uh, which any go- government agencies or the geographically uh, any governments impose on them or industries impose on them 
so this is a very key aspect of uh, all of these challenges uh, any organization should and must think about now let's uh, discuss about importance of dark data so first is untapped insight so dark data may contain valuable insights and pattern that organization haven't explored analyzing this data can uh, lead to discovery of hidden opportunities potential efficiencies and competitive advantage over other competitors so this is the first uh, advantage all right and the second advantage is innovation opportunities by unlocking the dark data organization may find uh, new ways uh, basically to innovate and improve their product services or processes unexplored data sets can uh, bring up more creativity and uh, drive innovations uh, within the organizations right and uh, so next is enhanced decision making so leveraging uh, uh, the potential of dark data can contribute to more informed decision making insight derived from analyzing this uh, data may provide a comprehensive view of business operations enabling uh, better strategic planning and decision making and uh, next comes the uh, data monetization right so this is again uh, important thing right so organization can explore way to monetize their dark data that means uh, bring make the data um, uh, generate the revenue is what we are talking monetization means uh, the data this dark data can start generating the revenue for the organization uh, how they how it can generate is identifying the valuable patterns or trends that could be interest uh, to partners uh, any kind of researchers or data scientists or other entities this can create additional revenue streams so which will uh, potentially uh, monetary uh, I mean monetarily can benefit the organization and uh, one more is uh, improved operational efficiency understanding and utilizing a uh, dark data can lead to improvements uh, in operational efficiencies for, say for example uh, optimizing process uh, uh, based on insights from unanalyzed data can result in uh, cost saving and resource optimizations as well so while dark data holds the potential for value, uh, valuable insights and opportunities, uh, uh, organization needs to carefully navigate these associated challenges, including security compliance, uh, which is again a very key important uh, aspect, and uh, resource requirements to efficiently harness its benefits. So it is there is no thumb, uh, thumb of rule saying that uh, each organization come across all these uh, challenges and they have to think about all of this. Uh, um, importance of dark data so it uh, completely it is subject to, to the each organizations uh, it depends on what kind of organization is that what kind of data they are dealing with and uh, what is their future uh, stick priorities so if you see in the previous slide what we have discussed uh, so these are actually the cons cons of dark data right challenges of dark data is nothing but cons of dark data and uh, the next slide what we are uh, what we saw is uh, importance of dark data so this is basically pros of dark data right so with this pros and cons uh, we will move to the next aspect of uh, understanding technologies to handle the dark data we have see, seen the challenges right so now we have seen now we will see what are the technologies what are the techniques uh, to handle dark data right so we might not be advanced enough or uh, completely equipped enough to handle the dark data but definitely there are uh, some advanced uh, technologies in the market uh, or in the current uh, scenario where you can explain uh, i mean explore those technologies and kind of uh, utilize them basically we will uh, see one one by one uh, what exactly these kind of uh, technologies can be uh, and cash to, to kind of uh, deal with this kind of data right so the first one is advanced analytics and data mining so so here we kind of uh, utilize advanced analytical tools and data mining uh, techniques to uncover patterns trends and insights from the large data sets huge volume data sets including unstructured dark data so here we can use machine learning algorithms uh, uh, that can uh, particularly uh, derive the meaningful insights uh, from the information right and the next is uh, nlp right where we are discussing about natural language processing uh, this technology enables to uh, understand and process uh, uh, process of human language kind of facilitating the analysis and of unstructured data this is particularly useful for extracting insights from the 
say documents images uh, email social media or other textual sources so basically this is very important when you are dealing with the unstructured data and the third was meta driven metadata driven uh, automation so here uh, what we talk about is uh, uh, implementing automation tools that use metadata to streamline data discovery classifications and uh, analysis processes automated workflows uh, can help organizations efficiently manage and uh, analyze dark data but uh, how do you how do you kind of uh, make it a metadata driven approach is uh, you need to build a data catalog and you need to have a strong metadata management system so which uh, you need to implement a data cataloging solutions to, to create a comprehensive inventory of all the data assets including dark data so then metadata management helps in understanding the context structure and the relationship uh, within these uh, kind of a different uh, data uh, different data coming from the different uh, point source of uh, points point of sources basically and uh, so next is a uh, data governance and compliance tools so again kind of coming to very important topic so you need to have a you need to deploy strong data governance tools to establish a standard standard set of processes procedures uh, for managing data across the organizations and ensure compliance within the regulatory requirements uh, and uh, the data protection standards are met right and the next one is cloud based storage and uh, computing and virtualization so basically when you talk about cloud based storage right uh, you need to utilize the cloud platforms uh, for scalable and cost effective storages of large data sets so that you can store the cost i mean you can uh, have that level of scalability and uh, cost uh, effective way of doing it and also cloud based computing resources can be leveraged for processing and analyzing dark data without the need for significant on premises infrastructure and uh, also when you talk about virtualization uh, data virtualization solution enables organization to access and analyze the data without physically moving or replicating it so this can be useful uh, in uh, analyzing dark data without the need for exist ex extensive uh, data movement i mean extensive data movement basically right and the next is uh, cyber security and data protection tools so what exactly this means uh, as a uh, dark data may contain sensitive information uh, employing robust uh, cyber security tool in the market and the data protection measures is very very crucial so this includes uh, maybe encryption encrypting the data accessing controls and monitoring to safeguard against uh, unauthorized accesses and uh, the next is a blockchain technology so this is again you might have heard about this technology where it can be used for other kind of benefits but when it when it comes to dark tech, uh, dark data so it can be used in certain industries uh, where uh, blockchain technology can be used uh, to to secure and uh, trans, uh, trans make the data transparent so this is particularly relevant when uh, handling sensitive data and ensuring integrity of the data information because uh, that's what the data block blockchain technology is meant for and the last one is uh, data visualization tools uh, search engines and uh, query platforms so here uh, you can utilize uh, maybe kind of a currently advanced uh, most advanced visualization tools that you have in the market to kind of a present or uh, to kind of a create insights uh, in a clearly understandable man manner as possible so that uh, visualization can uh, help in uh, communicating uh, or uh, translating that to complex uh, uh, data uh, by deriving some kind of uh, dark data to various stakeholders so that they can understand the dark data much better to take the actions required actions and also search and query uh, if you inquire uh, increase the searching capability uh, by making the powerful search engines and the querying platforms uh, to enable users to quickly locate and uh, kind of uh, retrieve the relevant information from both structured and unstructured uh, dark data so this also can be uh, if you kind of uh, invest in this kind of search engines uh, you can uh, tap uh, the unstructured uh, data especially and also the dark data uh, aspect of it so that you can derive the insight from the dark data as well so when you're talking about all of these technologies what uh, it eight, eight different kind of uh, points that we have discussed uh, so when when you are implementing these kind of technologies or tools it is very crucial for organizations to have well defined data strategy again including governance processes security measures and clear understanding of business objective 
driving the exploration of the data so the main important thing here is to staying informed about emerging technologies in the data management and analytics space is very uh, very very important for any organization looking to stay at forefront or uh, kind of a make advantage early advantage of uh, handling dark data effectively so this was about the entirely about the dark data we try to explain in detail so now if you quickly see what uh, we have discussed right so what was expected from this uh, video so hope uh, all these points that we have discussed here uh, is now clear right so if you talk about all these points right so what is dark data with example history growth facts pros and cons of uh, dark data what are the key challenges and we also discussed about technology to handle dark data and also we have summarized it entirely so the main important aspect is to understand uh, the potential of the dark data and uh, invest uh, early in the market to get the benefit out of it so hope this was useful and thanks for watching